I recommend we could go for something like this. Okay, we've had the new parts come through from the fabrication process. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. Welcome to Budapest once again for another round of the Formula One World Championship. Historically, a good race for first victories with Button, Hill, Alonso and Heike Kovalainen all reaching the top step of the podium for the first time here. We're northeast of Budapest for the race today at the 2.7 mile Hungaro Ring Circuit. 
14 corners here, eight to the right and six to the left, on a track where downforce is king and passing is notoriously difficult. And with me as usual is Anthony Davidson. Let's start with Racing Point. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Albon, Sebastian Vettel, and Leclerc, Ricardo, Perez, Sainz, and Lando Norris, Kvyat, Magnussen, Pierre Gasly, and Grosjean, the rookie, Matsushita, Esteban Ocon, and George Russell, Giovinazzi, Latifi, Stroll. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Kimi Raikkonen finishes off the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. take to get past. We're trailing our teammate by 2.6 seconds.
We have excess fuel weighing us down. Set the fuel mix to mode three. Let's push. Stewards have now enabled DRS. DRS is now online. in the pits, Nobuharu in the pits. Magnuson behind, our gap behind is 4.3 seconds. They're on old mediums, their tires are five laps old. The time lap. This is your final lap, final lap of the race.
Great job. You've done everything we wanted today. It wasn't always plain sailing today, but a very important win nonetheless. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, they played the safety car to absolute perfection. There are so many factors to worry about once the race is neutralised. I mean, do you pit for fresh rubber? Do you have the space behind you? How much fuel can you save? If you answer all of those questions correctly, you'll have a good chance. And that's exactly what happened today. A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. More points for Valtteri Bottas, further solidifying his lead at the top of the table. Now, let's discuss, Ant. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? I have to give it to the rookie. They did a great job at getting the most out of their tyres without losing pace, something that's a very handy skill to have in modern-day Formula 1. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One.